Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's class, we will discuss how to sketch reflection and refraction diagrams for CI IGCSE Physics by solving past paper questions. For this question, direction of travel of wave fronts is shown by this incident ray and the surface in this case is mirror. But if you look at figure 7.2, in this case, direction of travel of wave fronts is also shown by incident ray. The surface in this case, this is glass block. Question is asking us on figure 7.1 and on figure 7.2 to draw wave fronts to show what happens after the waves strike the surface. We need to understand what will happen to this incident ray and wave fronts after these waves strike the surface. So this is plane mirror. In this case, simply we can write down reflection will take place will take place and incident ray means these incident wave fronts they will be reflected so this is simply reflection but if you look at the second one the second surface is glass block in this case wave front will be refracted so this is example of refraction means in this case reflection will take place First of all, let's try to draw reflected wave fronts on figure 7.1. In order to draw reflected wave fronts, we will follow these steps. First step, we will draw normal to the surface, means normal to this surface. Second step, we will draw reflected ray. And third step, we will draw wave fronts at an angle of 90 degrees to the reflected ray. Now, let's try to draw normal to the surface means do first step. Let me place protractor here. So our protractor is here. We can find out this angle. First of all, let me find out the angle. If you look at this angle of this incident ray with normal, means with normal, this angle is 70 degrees. So our reflected ray also must have angle of 70 degree with normal. So let me draw normal first of all. I will use this solid line yellow color solid line but in your final exam you need to use dotted line instead of solid line so this is normal and this is at angle of 90 degrees to the surface next step we need to draw reflected ray and that one has to be at the same angle as the angle of incident ray with normal and that angle is 70 degrees so here angle is 70 degrees means from this normal 90 degrees now we have to draw the line here so we will just draw this line here so this is over reflected ray next step we need to draw wave fronts we need to move this protractor we need to align this one with over reflected ray so you can place like this and you can draw the first wave front let me draw the first wave front so this will be over first wave front so this is how you can draw then you can move this back and you need to consider the distance between wave fronts has to be the same as this distance between these incident wave fronts because the wave is the same and it is in the same medium so the speed of the wave is the same and wavelength of the wave also is the same now we can draw our second wave front here so this will be our second wave front this Distance you have to be careful with distance. This is second wave front. So we can move this back and we can draw next wave front. So this will be our next wave front. Distance has to be the same between wave fronts. So this is our next wave front. We can move this back and we can draw again the next wave front. So this one is our next wave front. Let's draw the last one. So the last one we can draw here. So this is the last wave front like this. So this is how you can draw reflected 
wavefronts. Draw the arrow as well. So let me draw the arrow. So arrow is must to show direction of reflected ray. This is for figure 7.1. For the second part, we need to draw refracted wavefronts on figure 7.2 and we will follow these steps. Means first of all, we will draw normal to the surface, normal to the surface, then we will draw refracted ray and finally we will draw wavefronts at an angle of 90 degrees to the refracted ray. First of all, normal to the surface. Again, I will use solid line for normal, but in your exam, you need to use dotted line for normal. So this is over normal line. As you can see here, this is normal to the surface. This is our step one. And for the second step, we need to draw refracted ray. As the wave is traveling from less dense medium to optically denser medium, wave will bend towards normal. So we have to draw something like that. So this will be over refracted ray. Third step. For the third step, we need to draw wave fronts at an angle of 90 degree to refracted ray. Let me align this one with the refracted ray. So first of all, you need to align your protractor with the refracted ray. So now you need to draw your wave front. So we can see here. Let's say draw from here. So here. So we can draw our first wave front. So this is over first wave front. And also the distance between these wave fronts has to be shorter than the distance between incident wave fronts. You also need to keep that in your mind. So the second one we can draw here. So this is second wave front. This is how we can draw the wave fronts. Now after drawing these wave fronts, we also need to draw direction of a refracted ray you can do this small arrow here so this is direction of refracted ray for question number seven it is given to us that sound from a loudspeaker is traveling in air and it is moving towards a solid wall so this one is solid wall and this is sound that is traveling to the solid wall. Direction of travel means this is our incident ray and these lines they are representing compressions mean these are the wave fronts. For this question we need to complete figure 7.1 to show the positions of three compressions means three wave fronts of the reflected sound wave. So this question is just about reflection. For this question we will also follow very similar steps. So let me explain to you steps first of all. First step we will do we will extend the incident ray mean we will extend this one to the wall. Then we will draw normal to the surface and then we will draw reflected ray. Finally we will draw reflected wave fronts at an angle of 90 degrees to the reflected ray. So these four steps we will follow. So let's start from step one step one simply we need to extend this line so i will use red color for this one to extend this line this is how you can extend this incident ray so this is how we can extend so this is our step one second step we need to draw normal to the surface and for that purpose we need protractor so let me grab protractor here this is our protractor we need to align this one with the surface so let me align this with the surface so here we can place this so align this with the wall means with the surface and we need to draw the normal line so this is our normal and this is at angle of 90 degrees to the surface so this is normal line so we can draw this is our normal line for third step we need to draw reflected ray we need protractor again so let me place protractor here so this is how you need to place protractor you need to find out the angle of incidence 
angle of incidence we need to find out now if you look at angle of incidence this is 30 degrees 90 60 30 degrees so reflected ray means angle of reflection also has to be 30 degrees so 90 120 so this angle of reflection this is 30 degrees now simply we need to draw the line so we just draw over reflected ray from here we can draw reflected ray so this is over reflected ray this is how we can draw next step we need to draw reflected wavefronts for that purpose we need to align over protractor again with reflected ray so we can align this one like this and now we can draw wavefronts so let's draw first wavefront from here draw our first wavefront from here we can extend this one a little bit to this point so this is our first wavefront we can also draw the second one but the distance between wavefront has to be the same so we have to be careful with distance so we can draw a second wavefront from here so distance is almost same so this is right one so we can draw from here for the third one we can again place over protractor here and we can draw the third wavefront third wavefront the distance has to be the same so from here we can draw third wavefronts we also need to draw arrow on reflected ray so this is arrow for reflected ray this is very important so we can also draw arrow here. This is how you need to answer this question.